I thought this was going to be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you. Completely. I let myself hope. Really hope. For the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? Gabe really loved this place. No birds today. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Things got pretty heated back there. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. 
And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Jeez. Okay. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> okay, guys. Why do I don't like this guy, man? Jeez, this game is beautiful. I... I have no idea what to even say to him. Ryan. Alex, I'm so sorry. I should have saved him. I don't know what to say. Hey, that was terrible. You should have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know. I'm asking a lot, but I think ready, ready, need to talk to you. Okay, interesting. Where well, is our task or options? Okay. Uncle Lester. <laughs> Did he say Uncle Lester? <laughs> One year ago, I was ready to ditch this place to keep moving like I always do. And a year ago, Gabe was a reminder. I, but even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for the showing me that I was. Ball skills could use some work. Yeah, no amazing there. Mac, look at him. Okay, some interesting conversations here. God, this is gonna make me cry again, man. Jeez. See, this is gonna make me cry again, guys. I don't like losing characters. I get attached to them, and then I start crying like a little baby. You are a little baby. Shut up, Austin. I'm gonna ask you. This ain't just crying like a little kitty, baby. George's County Sheriff's Department you, is working hard to save and protect the civilians. If you have any questions, comments, or a word, this is I feel sick. So we went through this. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away.
Okay. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lucan, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. I've only known Jed a few days, but he's got my back better than any care worker ever did. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. I've been trying to attempt to play on keyboard and mouse, but I'm used to playing on a controller, so I've been trying to get used to playing like this. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard because I don't know all the key bindings on the keyboard. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Thank you. Last one, I think. Alex, I'm sorry you don't have to be swing, but I just wanted to tell you thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, Alex. Can you come by the dispensary sometime? I think I need your advice. Sure thing. It's a uh, duck, Alex. It's, it was very much Pleasure meeting you the this evening. I hope you find a welcome welcome home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our next meeting. Someday Thank you, Ducky. That's very sweet. Hey Alex, it's it's um um what's her name? Shy or um Sorry I heard you ran out like a crazy person except to meet you for real at bar tonight on Thursday. You too. Hey Alex, it's Steph. I'm so sorry. I loved Garrett. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Hey, do you have a sec? Swinging by the store. Maybe what's up? Nothing big. I tell you when you get here. And an emoji. Okay. Sure. Morning, Alex. Did you get my notice? I'm holding stamps to the gate at 9 a.m. today. If you care to join us, no problem at all. Thanks, Jared. I'll be down soon. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Cheeks, my reading sucks. Alex, I'm so sorry. Please let me know if you there anything I if there is anything I can do for you. Jesus! I need some water after that. That's a lie reading. Ah. Uh. I don't want nothing to drink here. <clears throat> Help! 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 
No water. Help. These are some nice bikes. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Was it on the news? I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. Okay guys, I got a question for y'all in the comments. If y'all just, um, if you just lost your brother and your brother brought you to this small town in Colorado and if he died, would you stay or would you move on to a different state or a different country. Let me know what would you do in the comments. Pike's really had his work cut out for him these last few days. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how you holding up? Okay. Been better. Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... When you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. Mac Loudon? The guy that showed up at Gabe's place... Throwing punches. The safety manager on duty that night is lying to you. That's my statement. I know you're angry, Alex. But it's an ongoing investigation. I'm still going to need to interview you. Sure. Whatever. That Pike's really had his work cut out for him these last few days. The park looks fun to explore. Everything is so horrible. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. I always figured mining was dangerous, but damn. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. 
This is cool. In a wicker man sort of way. Uh, this is awful. He was so young. He must be reading about Gabe. I don't think this whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out either. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... He looks so... alone. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you... want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not fine. Station gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is the mining company is about to expand. More jobs means more customers for you. What about the customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver? Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. It's very unlikely that anything with Typhon will change. They've been the largest employer in Haven for decades. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. I've been eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. That's a damn thing. I just still can't wrap my head around it. Someone died? Wind chimes. The original jam band. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Wanna do something together next week? Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Wanna join? A class? Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Yeah, I usually grab a bite with Katie. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. Dude, if I tell him I like him, they might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Someone that, um, is nice, but... I don't know, I got some weird vibes about that. I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. Possibly. Oh, this game keeps you keep. This game keeps you on your toes and thinking. 
that because anything is possible, anything can go wrong, you always have to think ahead. Charlotte? Alex? Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Yeah, I can tell. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. He's a pretty insightful kid. He knows how much you're hurting, even when you try to hide it from him. Instead of trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that it's okay to hurt. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't mention it. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. Scary. How big? How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Oh no, they just jump me into the option. No. Oh, they just jump me all over into the option. Take the money from. Take the money or turn the offer down. Mm. Why do they do this to me? What am I thinking? What am I thinking, guys? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I want to say take the money, and that will... Fuck it, I want to just say take the money, man. You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy. But Ethan should come first. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. I really appreciate- I see why Gabe was so in love with her. Glass pipes are so cool. 
They're like works of art that can also get you high. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? I'm always here for you if you need anything. Thanks. Back at you. She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. God, put some clothes on. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. I really love Charlotte's style. There's something you don't see in Portland. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Coffee in the morning, whiskey before bed. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. Helpful. Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. You don't say. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Val, I just want to be friends. Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. Still going. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. How could Chrissy leave me? 
After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait, isn't that the name of the found dog? Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. Haven's favorite, and only, choice for modern rock. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talked is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. I like it, great idea. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Uh... Stormrather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I. I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. <laughs> oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Alto is a good name for a bard. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. Uh, oh god. This LARP thing just might work. It's sweet she's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Chrissy, leave me. After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait, isn't that the name of the found dog? Still need to check the flower shop for Mac.
Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was home with me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's... First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's... Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rai. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know, if they about, know my about my condition, they'll make me close, this, me place. close this place. The doctor says I had more time. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, find out. out. Thank you, dear. We'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Holy shit. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? 
You could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. Maybe try closing your eyes and really concentrating on what you were doing. If only. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Ugh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Did anything happen with Riley? I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. I wonder who called. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? I wonder what Riley came in to order. I know Riley called. But what came next? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I 
me you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I... missed it. Sorry. Hey, it's um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I've definitely lived in uglier places. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. I have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Get truth from Mac now. Sightsee later. How do those words taste? Did you buy Alex, I'm so sorry about before. I really did apologize to you and Ruben. Just hit with it. Don't apologize, it's been hard for all of us. Did you buy your chicken coop? So fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. I'm so fucked. Time to get the truth. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Hey, 
Maybe Riley knows something I can use against Mac. Hey, Riley. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. She'd be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that. Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. Tell me. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. Yeah. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon. Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Yeah. 
I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Fuck off! Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. I saw Mac run down that alley. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. instead. Alex? What's going on, man? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck up makes you guilty too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. 
And now, and now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? You deserve everything you're getting. What? Maybe you didn't kill him. But you could have done something. You could have spoken up at the wake. Or told the police what really happened. And you didn't. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. What's happening? You were right. No. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex.
It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You're better than me. You're better than me, never of us. How could you know? You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? I've done some um, investigating, you could say. There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? I like you. Think of something sad, think, think something sad, think something scary, think of something incredible. I'm gonna say scary. Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Mac, Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. <laughs> Oh, 
we're going to send him off right this time. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> together. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. <laughs> Property of the crown. The... the crown of... <laughs> Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> so... <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? Okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. 
No kidding. Yeah. It's it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So... You're going after Typhon. Oh, no. You'll need help. Yup. You don't have to. We need him, though. You're stuck with me now. He has more experience. He's a state trooper. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. I'm gonna go on the I like him though. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. Oh. I caught the beautiful oh, moment. So sorry. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said... I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I love you, Gabe.
game is just so incredible. Y'all wondering why I'm cutting my mic microphone on and off is because it's because it's too much background in my y'all we just completed uh, chapter two of this game incredible all right we're gonna um we're gonna end it here i'm gonna go to main menu we're gonna end it here guys um if you want to comment a word this thing i'm been starting doing if you want uh comment want me to give you a shout out leave you uh leave a comment in the description if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and um like the video if you did enjoy it i know this game is still a couple days old so i just want to thank you all for coming and supporting the channel and watching this with me i hope you are looking forward to going on with this further down the um the road with this game i'm having an amazing time i know you all are having an amazing time so thank you and share this video out with your friends and family members peace out you guys take care of yourself and i will see you guys on the next one peace out